I did a small order with Banggood Electronics. Banggood Com. I haven't used them too much in the past. Uh, someone I follow uses them quite a bit. An English guy. I bought this little unit to get my lights working again outside. And it did work, although it was a little bit awkward to implement. It doesn't have a standard, you know, size. The screw on the uh, back here, for instance, is real small. It doesn't fit the standard 3 8 or whatever it is on American stuff on the plate I had. So I had to kind of make that work. But it did work. I bought a few other items from Banggood. Uh, mostly just jumpers. Let's see if I can find those. But the most interesting thing I bought was the uh, microscope. And uh, for the money, you can't really complain. I think it was only like 10 bucks. Or it was less than 10 bucks. It was like 8 something. And here's the image it's making. Pretty good. Blowing up this diode. I wasn't sure if it was a diode or a plastic capacitor of some sort until I blew it up. I can clearly see it's a diode. I'm not really sure about this circuit. This is part of the old uh, switch that was on the light, you know, before I installed this one. The guts of the old one. Some of the stuff was in the head with the infrared sensor. But in the base of the light itself they had the relay and four diodes forming a bridge rectifier and two other diodes and a capacitor, so I'm not really sure how that all goes. Let's look at the rest of the circuit. Oh, a few resistors. There's no switches or transistors or anything other than the relay. So some of the stuff's in the head, of course, the infrared head. Anyway, it was kind of nice to look at it. You know, scratched up diodes. It's pretty good for a uh, under ten dollar. And the way Banggood does things, I could have ordered it from a U.S. Uh, warehouse, but I would have paid almost double what I would have paid from the Chinese warehouse. So I took the extra time to get it delivered and got it from the Chinese warehouse. So, it works. Pretty good little unit. Should pulls up on the other computer. It's such a little page here. I think I got the one that's listed as 16 here, but it was on sale. That's a pretty good image though. You can see the uh, resistor hole here where the resistor is going through. You can even see the uh, coating on top that was pierced. You know, the uh, lacquer or whatever they got on the board there. Then down to the material itself. It's kind of neat. And here I'm just looking at a piece of paper, um, note paper with uh, it's got like a tinted background and uh, some little flowers on it. Blow it up, you can see all the little print dots. And my writing ink pen. And that was the only interesting thing I really bought. I bought some uh, 3055 transistors just to have them around for stock. I don't have any left. I was looking for one. Good offer for switching transistor. I bought some more of these jumpers. I've got some long ones like these too. I figured to get some short ones. Male to males and some males to females, I think, in here somewhere. Maybe not. But I did. At any rate, I initially didn't buy these jumpers. I usually used uh, like telephone wire, that little thin 26 gauge crap, and it was just such a pain in the butt. I thought, well, you know. 
would be kind of crazy to pay money for little jumpers, but if it saves you frustration, it's more than worth it. Not having warriors pull out on on you all the time. And having these in a ribbon format is kind of nice because you can break off two, three, you know, eight, whatever you want. Keep them in a group, keep them organized. I also bought a couple of these uh, guys. I'm really happy with the one I had it in blue, this one's in green. And you just put a battery to it, or it just measures its own voltage. It can work from 3 to 30 volts, supposedly. Although I blew out the blue one already. And it shouldn't have been able to get to 30 volts. So it's on that lawn tractor where I'm having voltage trouble, so who knows. But I've got a little spike. I lost the middle digit of the uh, blue one that I had on the tractor outside. I think I did finally figure out my voltage issue there. May get back to that on a different video. I also bought one of these little tiny imitation, um, and it does have a mini uh, USB on it. I should try to focus this better. It's kind of hard to see because the paper, the plastic the envelope it's in is kind of foggy too. So I don't know where my focus is here. At any rate, you've all seen these. So these are pretty cool, these little voltmeters. They got them in all colors. And they just measure their own voltage that they're running off of. Fresh uh, 9 volt battery here, giving me almost 9.6 when it was fresh. Slowly running it down with its own load here. And the blue one was nice and bright. I uh, don't know if why well, I burnt it out already, though. Like I said, my tractor's got real unstable voltage. Plus, they're not waterproof or in any kind of case at all, so if you're going to use them any place, you got to worry about all that. But for a few dollars, they're a pretty good price. Could find a lot of uses for that. So, anyway, it's not too bad for. You know, a occasional use experimenter type thing. Sixteen eighty eight if it takes shipping from China. Like I said, I got it a little cheaper on sale.